Hi everyone, this is Selena. I hope you're well. Welcome back to one of my videos. So, um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name's Selena and I release a video tutorial every week on my YouTube channel and I also release free um, crochet patterns on my blog selinaveronique.com. So for this yarn haul and review I'm really really excited because I had noticed um, in my yarn stash that I was lacking in a lot of what I call spring summer um, yarns. I have a new uh, like yarn organization closet. I will be um, you can check out the the photos on Instagram. I will be doing a dedicated video on my yarn stash and organization because I'm so excited by this new, it's like a big bookshelf from um, Ikea which has just got yarn in and it's absolutely lovely and amazing. I will try and pop a photo somewhere just so you can see what I'm saying. And so anyway, long story short, I was really lacking in cotton yarns, bamboo yarns, like light springy yarns and I really didn't have a lot, like really 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 a tiny amount. So I had to go online and because where I live there are no yarn shops, very sadly um, the department store where I used to work up until a few months ago, it used to have a haberdashery and it was one of the only ones in my um, area in the northeast of England and it was really amazing because obviously I used to have also a discount and everything. Anyway, they took that away and it's been replaced by some other kind of department. And it was really, really sad. And anyway, so it's really hard to get yarn, to buy yarn in, in an actual shop where I live in the northeast of England. So I do order online quite a bit. So I did an online order and this is what I've got. So what I got. So I've, I've kept everything. You can't see everything. Everything's not in the camera lens. But anyway, I will go through all of so anyway, now let's do the yarn haul. So I really needed some summer yarns and I also needed some yarn for um, some project that I had ongoing and that I hadn't um, had the exact amount of skeins that I needed so I had to reorder some skeins. So to begin I'm going to show you this one which is Red Heart Soft Baby Steps. I really love this yarn. This is an Aran weight yarn and it's in shade, it's a pink shade and it's, what, what shade is it? Light pink and it's really gorgeous. I have an ongoing project with this yarn which is a summer bag so I'm hoping to release that soon. And I needed more skeins of yarn and I love Red Heart Soft Baby Steps. I love the feel of it. It's so soft. I think it's a hundred percent acrylic and it's an Aran weight four yarn which is really good. It's also light. It's not a heavy yarn. Sometimes when it's an Aran weight yarn it can be quite heavy. So this is quite light if that makes sense. So it's it's really good for spring. So I got two skeins of this because I didn't know how much I needed still for my project. So I got two skeins of this and I might order more colors because I just love this yarn so much. Then I ordered um, a lot of cotton yarn. As I said, I had practically none left in my stash. I think I had maybe two or three skeins of random yarns which is a shocking amount when you're a yarn um, crochet blogger so yeah I definitely needed to stock up so I bought this drops muscat I hope I'm pronouncing it well it's 100% moisturized cotton and I got a shade blue so um color zero two and it recommends a four millimeter um, pair of needles or crochet hook. And it comes in 50 gram balls and, well, skeins, and they measure 100 meter each. 
They're 100% cotton. They're most rice cotton. It's an absolute dream. It looks absolutely stunning. It feels lovely. It's actually a really affordable yarn. I really love drops. I've only started ordering drops recently, but I love it because it's so beautiful and it's so affordable. So I definitely recommend. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight skeins of this in blue. I don't know if this happens to you, but when I order yarn, I always have all these ideas and projects in my head. And then as soon as I get the yarn, I just forget half of the projects that I wanted to make with that yarn. So anyways, I have this yarn. I'm sure I'm going to make something with it. I'm really excited. I also bought the same yarn, Drops Muscat, um, in shade 06. And this is kind of an old rose, like vintage rose kind of um, color. Again, I will be linking, uh, I will be writing and linking if possible all the yarns and colors that I've bought exactly so you'll be able to know exactly which ones I've ordered. So everything will be in the description box or somewhere I will be linking that. So Drops Muscat once again, I bought it in pink and I bought I think five skeins of yarn in the pink. I think I had the idea of making a bag with this or of making maybe a, a summer top. So I got five skeins in the pink. Also, this was my first or second time, I think, ordering Drops Muscat. So I know it seems like a lot that I've ordered, but it's not that much really when you have no cotton yarn. At home so I just wanted to see what it was like how it worked up etc before ordering more if that makes sense I also ordered two um, skeins in shade 08 which is an off-white shade um, because this is a great shade to have just for borders or just for yeah just for projects I think or I always always have lots and lots of like um what color is this i don't really like the word off-white i don't know if it's beige it's not really beige it's more like a oh, i can't remember it's not white it's it's a different color but anyway you get what i'm saying i always have lots in every single yarn that i have that i possess i always have lots and lots of this type of like off-white yarn because I think it looks perfect for borders. It looks stunning with every color. So I always have lots. So I got those. I also ordered Drops Paris. So this is also obviously by Drops. It's 100% cotton. I got a lot of those. I think I got eight or 10 skeins. This is pink. It's color 20. Obviously my favorite color is pink. I love pink. So it's a an iron weight yarn this time. It's 100% cotton. It requires a 5mm crochet hook. It says that it's yarn group C. So I'm assuming this is iron weight yarn or weight 4 yarn in American terms. It feels really, really nice. I don't think it's mercerized cotton, but it looks really, really nice. And sometimes I like that it's not mercerized cotton because mercerized cotton has a tendency, I don't know, to look really pretty, but also to be stiffer. So it has a more stiff look to it. So it's really good for some projects, but sometimes I like to have like a more a less, I don't know, like a more rugged kind of feel of 100% cotton, just for jumpers, tops. Although this is very soft, I hope I'm making sense. But anyway, this is the first time I've used this. Well, I've not used it yet, so it's not really a review. It's just like a yarn haul review. So I'll let you know once I've used it, how I feel about this. I think I was thinking of making like a cardigan or a jumper with this. And I'm really excited. I'm very excited. And so also I got these and that's really, I'm so excited. Um, I'll go through both of these um, in detail just now, but 
I live in the UK and yarns get released later than in America, I, I believe. And so I was desperate for these for these cakes. So this is a Caron Cloud Cake and this is a Caron Cotton Angel Cake. And oh my gosh, when I first saw these had been released in the US and I think maybe Canada, I was just so excited and I really wanted to try them. Unfortunately, they weren't available in England, so I was really sad. I almost ordered them from Joann's. I think they deliver to the UK, but I don't know why I didn't do that. Something happened. Anyway, I forgot about ordering it. And then the other day when I was ordering my cotton yarn, I clicked on um, the link for Caron Cakes on the website and they had these and I couldn't believe it. I was so happy. So I ordered one skein of Caron Cloud Cake and it feels so soft. It does feel like a cloud. I love it. And it says that it's um, cloud grey, that's the colour, cloud grey, and it's a medium full yarn, it recommends a four and a half millimetre crochet hook, it's 100% polyester, and it's 240 grams, and it comes in a 695 metre skein, so that's 760 yards. I always think in metres, because I'm French, and yards mean nothing to me, it's like feet or foot, I have no idea what that means. So I always go by the meter or centimeters and so on, so apologies about that, but that's just my brain. So anyways, I absolutely love the feel of this and I think that's so generous um, to include f like practically 700 meters of yarn inside one skein. So I am going to make, I'm so excited about this. Um, this is an exclusive um, information. I will be making a Sontag with this. So I hope I'm pronouncing that right. And I think a Sontag is a wrap from, so it will be part of my vintage crochet series. And a Sontag is a wrap that you tie around your body and I think it used to be so popular in the in the 18th century maybe also the 19th I've not researched this yet so I need to research it for my vintage crochet series but I will be making a sontag with this I believe so watch this space and I also love this one so Karen Cotton Angel Cakes I mean what a beautiful name. I absolutely love angels. I believe in angels. All around my house I've got angels, angel paintings, angel drawings, angel engravings. I have angel candlesticks, um, statues, everything in my, in my yard. I've got an angel praying. So I love angels anyway. I am rambling again. But I absolutely needed that yarn when I saw it. So again, this is an absolutely stunning colour. I think it's colour Heather and this is a, um, choo -choo -choo -choo, let me see, so a medium full yarn. It recommends a 5mm crochet hook. It's 60% cotton and 40% acrylic and it comes in 250 gram ball and that's 485 meters and 530 yards. And it looks absolutely stunning. So again, I don't know what I'm gonna make with this, but I just needed it. I just needed that yarn just to be able to look at it and just decide what I'm going to make with it. I'm probably going to order more of these. Again, I had never, none of these, this yarn I had ordered ever except maybe drops muscat once or twice but I couldn't remember what it was like so all these um all this yarn is all new to me so I'm really really excited I can't wait to make projects with this so let me know if you've used any of those yarns and what you made with them and if you like them and sorry if this is a bit rambly but I do hope you enjoyed it. Um, let me know in the comments if you have any yarn recommendations that you think I need or that you think I need to, to order because I feel like I'm, I could be more 
um, like, I don't know, I find it hard sometimes to keep on top of all the new yarns that, I, that are coming out, especially American yarns, and American yarns are my favorite yarns. So if you feel that there is a yarn that I need to have or try, just let me know in the down bar. I hope you enjoyed this yarn haul and review. I will be reviewing all these yarns once I've used them. Watch this space for lots of new crochet tutorials. And thank you so much for listening to me. Um, thank you for everything. I really, really enjoy your support and I'm so thankful for our crochet community. And yes, I hope you enjoy these videos. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.